These new satellite images show what appear to be the ramping up of theft by Russia of Ukrainian grain being poured into the open hold of a Russian ship. This was in the Crimean port of Sevastopol on May 19th. Then, two days later, a second ship docks and it too is filled. Now, both Russian ships are sailing away. This weekend, President Volodymyr Zelensky accused Russia of fueling a food crisis and of gradually stealing Ukraine's food supplies and trying to sell them. An earlier image from Maxar Technologies shows one of those same Russian ships in a port of their close ally, Syria, the Ukrainian grain waiting to be unloaded onto trucks. These extraordinary, revealing images are so close and so clear that they look like they could be taken by drone or helicopter. You can actually see the grain pouring into the open hold of the ship. Stephen Wood and his team at Maxar spotted the ships in this much wider image of Crimea. This is 400 miles up in space. To be able to see that kind of level of detail, the ships, the cab of the truck, pretty phenomenal stuff. Maxar and other commercial satellite companies have played a critical role in what we know about Russia's war in Ukraine, with satellite imagery that is unprecedented, both in quality and how it's being used. Before, this was only available in the halls of CIA or the U.S. government or friendly foreign governments, to now we're showing it on CNN. We're keeping a very close eye on that column of Russian vehicles, that convoy we've been talking about for several days. They alerted the world to the famous 40-mile-long Russian convoy outside Kyiv, the rows of hundreds of mass graves near Mariupol, potential war crimes in Bucha, and the aftermath of the Russian bombing of the Mariupol theater. The satellite is in the final stages of getting ready to uh, be shipped very soon. We were given a rare tour of Maxar's satellite factory in Palo Alto, California, by CEO Dan Jablonski. Joint projects with NASA and others. Construction underway on six new Maxar satellites, which will allow them to scan a single spot on Earth 15 times a day. For decades, Maxar has provided all kinds of images to both private clients and to the U.S. government, their biggest customer. How much does the U.S. government tell you where to look? They tell us where to point the satellites and take the imagery, and, and then that's what we feed into them as a service, the same way we, do, we would do for uh, Google Maps, for example. Will the intelligence community, for example, say, we know that there is a war crime that has been committed, there are all these mass graves, for example, train your satellites there, and then push out those images to the press? They actually, they might ask us to make those collections, uh, but they don't, they do not influence or ask us to necessarily put out, put out where we're putting out to the, the public. Maxar is now giving imagery to the Ukrainian government, part of the U.S. aid for Ukraine. In a fight, the U.S. and others now say, that has resulted in Russian war crimes. To what extent are your images going to be critical in these war crimes investigations? For example, the bodies that were found on the street in, in Bucha. We had imagery correlating at the exact same time where these bodies were, down to the, the place, the time, and the moment. It's having that kind of fidelity of data that we now have that makes that possible. And I, I ultimately think it will play an important part. Each one of those Russian cargo ships that we showed you there in, in those new satellite images carries 30,000 tons of grain. Russia, of course, denies that they're stealing that grain. But what they aren't taking, they are targeting or blocking from getting out of the country, which is, of course, devastating for Ukraine and, Jake, the entire world, which depends so much on that food that comes from Ukraine.